<laughs> well, that's me. No. <laughs> okay, Cecilia, truth or dare? Truth. What is the thing that you hate the most about Oliver? That he's vegan. What? <clears throat> what? It's impossible to cook anything for you. Uh, I never asked you to. Oh, okay, and I never. Guys. It's just a game, and there's no need to start an argument. Oliver, truth or dare? Dare. Ooh. Okay, I think we all know what his dare should be. It is your chance to show him what he's missing. Oliver, your dare is to eat this. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Come on, dude, are you gonna chicken out over a tiny piece of meat? That'd be so lame. It's just a game. It shouldn't be about forcing me to do something that's against my values. That's exactly what the game is about. Yeah, if the dares were easy, no one would play, because it'd be boring. Eat it. No. Eat it. 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 Stop. Stop. I'm not doing that. This is stupid. Loser. Wow. <sighs> Tell me about it. Wow. Well, thanks for having us. It was really nice. It was so fun. You sure about dating Oliver? He's a bit... Of a wuss. Mm. I mean, he's usually really cool and he wasn't vegan when we started dating. We were just a bit concerned because he didn't really fit with us. Yeah. But you do you, as long as you're happy. Thanks. Dinner tomorrow? Sure. Cool. Okay. Love ya. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. See ya. Bye. That was really messed up. Oh, come on, it was just a joke. We were having fun. Well, it wasn't fun for me. Why do you have to be so uptight? Lily and Tyler are my friends. They would never tell anyone you ate a tiny bit of meat. Cecilia, it's not about people knowing I ate meat. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. But you're not innocent either. Embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Embarrassing you? How? By freaking out about a piece of meat. Now do you think you're a hip or something? And why do you care? Because they're my best friends. And I'm your boyfriend. So? So you care more about those two jerks than me? I'm gonna sleep on a couch tonight. Cecilia, wait. What are you looking for? My Tiffany necklace. The one I gave you for your birthday? Have you seen it? No. Really? Because I clearly remember leaving it on a nightstand and now it's not there. <laughs> Why would I take it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because you got so mad I put tiny piece of meat next to your face that you decided to steal my most expensive belonging? You're so pathetic. Cecilia, I, I didn't touch it. I don't care about your jewelry. Why do you need it now? Because I'm meeting Lila and Tyler for dinner. Why didn't you ask me to come? Because we're going to a steakhouse, Oliver. I don't want you whining about the menu not having any vegan options in front of my friends. I could bring my own food. God, man up. I swear you're like an annoying picky kid. Learn to eat something from the menu, then you might join us for dinner. Well, if you're gonna keep going to the steakhouse, then you don't even want me to join. Yeah, enjoy seeing your friends who are clearly more important to you than me. Fine. Good. Great. Perfect. Whatever. Yeah, bye. Good morning. Hi. Oliver, I'm sorry about the last few days. I. I don't know what came over me and I am. Um... Baby, it's okay. Really? You will forgive me? Hmm. I need your breakfast. 
as an apology, fully vegan. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes amazing. Mm. And of course, I'll forgive you. I mean, we all overreact sometimes, but it doesn't make me stop loving you. Hmm, I love you too. By the way, my mom called and uh, she's having 4th of July dinner at her place this year, so would you like to go? I'd love to. Perfect. Love you, babe. Finally, you're here. Mom! I missed you, honey. I miss you too. Oh. This young gentleman must be Oliver. I've heard so much about you. Oh, I'm sure I've heard more about you. <laughs> Cecilia is always talking about how great you are. Oh, so sweet. Okay, guys, let's get the small talk. The food is already on the table, so let's not waste our time. Please. Let's go. <sighs> Where's your father? Haven't seen him though. Michael! Coming, darling. It's good to see you kids. Hi. <laughs> You're late. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I was trying to get the sink fixed before dinner. The sink? Yes, the one in our bathroom was leaking. So your father has been trying to fix it already for a few weeks. In fact, just made it worse. It started leaking even more after you did something. <sighs> Darling, I, I thought I told you. I, I had to take one part out because it was broken. And uh, th that's why it was leaking in the first place. I ordered a new part. It, it just hasn't come in yet. And I keep telling your father that he's not a plumber. Just call it professional and he'll fix it. I swear, we'll drown in this house one day if you, Michael, keep pretending that you know what you're doing. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I just need no, to get back in darling. there and... We both know the truth. Don't try to fool yourself, okay? Uh, why don't we start dinner? Great idea. Okay, let me tell you what we've got here today. Of course, the steak. You can't have the 4th of July without a steak, can you? Uh, some corn. Mmm, your corn on the cob, slathered in butter. Mmm, mmm. Thank you. Mm. Chicken salad, mac and cheese, because your father is still acting like a child and refusing to eat a salad. <laughs> like always. <sighs> Tell me about it. Uh, oh, and my special mashed potatoes. Oh, what makes them special? Mm, secret family recipe. <sighs> but as long as you're dating my daughter, I guess I can tell you. I add a little bacon and some cream cheese in it um. to make it rich and delicious. Mm. Uh, nothing here is vegan. You didn't mention it to your mom. Eat the meat. But... It'll be rude if you don't won't, I won't hurt you. But... It'll be insulting to my mom if you don't even try. What are you two whispering about? Nothing, mom. Oliver just told me how excited he is to try everything. Really? Then you get to have the biggest piece of honor. Oh. Go. Thank you. Oh, and I know it was a long drive here, so make yourself at home and eat as much as you want. Is there anything wrong with the steak? I'm vegan. You're what? Vegan. I, 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 I don't eat meat or any other animal products. <laughs> vegan? You could be a great actor, you know, Oliver. Oh, vegan. You almost got me, you know. I was not joking. Oliver. You know, I, I thought we stopped arguing about this when you cooked me breakfast yesterday. You didn't even notice, did you? 
Notice what? Notice what, Cecilia? When I made you breakfast yesterday, I blended in some meat and put it in the food. And you ate it, and nothing happened. So why do you have to make a scene now? Just eat the freaking steak. You lied to me. I did it for you. No. I wanted to show you that eating me won't kill you. No, Cecilia, you did it for yourself. You don't care about me or, or my values at all. Oliver, sit down, and we'll talk about us later. No, we won't. What do you mean? I can't be with someone who doesn't respect me or my choices. You only care about your own feelings. You don't give a damn about mine. Can we go home and talk this through? It's too late, Cecilia. We're done. Oliver, wait! Let him go. What? You don't need a man like that. If you can call him a man. But Mom, I love him. Cecilia, don't make the same mistake I did. I don't want you to end up with a sissy. So that at some point you'll realize that he can't even fix a goddamn sink. You'll be better without him, trust me. You know what? The men in this family aren't the problem. You two are. You're both bullies. Sit down, Michael. No. This man, he made the right choice before it was too late. I said, sit down. And I said, no. You love pushing me around like I'm your little puppet. I should have left a long time ago. Don't do anything stupid that you will regret later. This, I'll never regret. Michael, you come back here. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. I want a divorce. What? Don't worry, Mom. You don't need a sissy. You'll be better off without him, right? Michael, wait! Well, that's it for today. Watch Secret Diaries and learn from our mistakes. Happy 4th of July. Till next episode. Hi guys! Did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!